You keep trying, but you find it too long. Had you been looking for some all along? But with no me, I keep running back for so long. You know I be that right slow. Let me like bro, baby, I slow. Good morning. Well, it's really afternoon, guys, and I am super tired. How are y'all doing? I am tired. <laughs> um, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and just click that subscribe button down below. Like, what are you waiting for? Anyways, hey guys, how are you doing today? My name is Ashley Morgan. Welcome to my channel. Uh, it is my birthday week. I decided to take my first solo trip. Um, it's been a journey. Not only, <laughs> I woke up around two this morning, left my house around three, got to um, the parking area around four, got to the airport on time, thought that my flight was gonna be on the international side and found out that it actually was on the domestic side. I'm never flying Frontier again, it's ghetto. I got to, I got to the airport on time. <laughs> Oh, he's okay. And um, they were late. And my flight was delayed two hours. But this trip is just really about me spending time with God. I really want to kind of just like bring in my 30s with like good energy, good vibes, and just me. I just wanted to bring in 30s as me. Because as I am healing and growing in my journey, I am starting to morph into the woman that I want to be. And so I want to bring in 30s as her without any outside influences. Did not want to deal with like people and being on people's schedules. Um, because you may not know this about me, but I'm a very meticulous planner when it comes to events so when or traveling so if I'm planning travel it takes me a little while to plan because I am planning every I mean I'm an itinerary girl <laughs> itinerary girl so I just didn't want to do any of that because if I am going somewhere with someone I really want to create an experience and so this time around I really just wanted to be by myself I really just wanted to enjoy my own company um, and I'm, I really wanted to kind of start small and by the grace of God, I'm going to do a solo trip every year. And so this is like a small baby one to start with. And then I can eventually next year kind of dip my toe into the big girl pond, you know. Um, but I'm super excited about it. Like this is my first solo trip, y'all. I'm so excited. I got here safely this morning. I was a little nervous. Um, anyway, let's let's see this hotel. Okay, Joshua. So when you first walk in, you have what I believe is going to be a closet. I can hang up my clothes, which is great. So closets on the left, and then we go to the right. I love these sliding doors. I don't know why they give me like oh, there's a tub in here. Oh, she's to take a bath. Okay, sorry. And so in here, I didn't know that everyone came with a tub. There's a jacuzzi tub, which I'm going to have to get them to come clean and then set up for me so I can take a bath in here. This will be so cute for like a couple, um, but I am single, so you know, it is what it is. They give you all these little toiletries. What is this? Shampoo, which we know black folks can't use. <laughs> they gave me bath soap, which we can use that. And then there is a shower and then, um, this is the bed like i said this would be so cute if you were like in a relationship like married and all that great stuff and so you could open that up and have a little peep show comes with a little television a coffee maker this is the patio slash deck which i am loving because i'm going to be out here tonight eating my dinner because i am not going anywhere today i'm tired look at all the trees oh, i love it only thing i don't care for is the fact that it's raining but i'm about to take a shower I'm going to settle in and I'm going to put my clothes up and then we are going to order some room service. I'm probably going to end up taking a nap. Honestly, the nap is probably going to turn to sleep because I'm overly tired. I just took a shower and it felt sublime. <laughs> Water pressure here is on point. Good morning everybody it is the 21st day before my birthday and y'all i don't know if it was a travel or what but 
your girl was out of commission yesterday. I went to take a nap yesterday. And I woke up around 10 o'clock. Let's start from the beginning. Hold on. So you guys know that I ordered room service yesterday. Basura. Trash. Okay, I ordered the sandwich um, and some fries and then a small cheesecake. Ate none of it because it was all gross. <laughs> and then so I... Um, went ahead and just i didn't eat i went to sleep and then i woke up around like 10 ish and my stomach was growling my mouth was hurting yesterday like my jaw for some reason and then so i went ahead and tried to see if i can get something to eat i was not getting room service again and i just came to the conclusion conclusion that the food here is basura in general because the food last night was nasty too like i took a bite of a sandwich and i did not finish it um i ate a few fries it was not good and so we're gonna try it again today. I'm gonna go ahead and get breakfast. I'm gonna get dressed and go get breakfast and see what that's in for. Breakfast, you really can't. If you mess up breakfast, you just bust it up. So this is what I got. I got myself an omelet with just vegetables in it, potatoes and bacon. And then I have a little granola bar over there. I'm back. I actually came back to the room because when I saw that pool, I was like, oh, that is what I'm doing today. <laughs> and so I'm about to go to the pool. Um, I literally just stood in this mirror and had a whole conversation with myself. I changed my clothes. I'm wearing a swimsuit with this cover-up that I got from Shein. I'm not going to get in the water, but I'm about to read my book. So the book that I decided to bring on this trip is called You Are a Badass. Um, and <laughs> how funny is I didn't even read the whole thing. I just read the top part. How to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. God, you are funny. I really want to start moving into what I initially was supposed to be doing now that I have worked on my stuff a lot. I went through a transformation in my mind and so the first six months of this year I literally have been finding myself and I had to find myself because I had to figure out who I was and literally that's the conversation I had with myself two seconds ago God has been healing me in the past few months I have come to realize that I have been playing too small I have been trying to be too safe with my dreams I have been acting like I don't understand the woman that I am and who God has like the, the gifts that God has given me and they're not even and you don't even think of it a lot like the things that you that are your gifts you don't think of them as gifts because when people are like oh my god like you can do this you can do that you just like okay <laughs> it's not like it's not a big deal like it's natural but no they are big deals because those are the things that God has given you to be able to move towards the purpose that he has get, he has called you to things that i'm talented and i'm able to do they're not even in my mind considered talents these are just natural like everyday things i've been doing for years and i have literally slept on them but when i think about my life and i think about the people i've always encountered and i think about just like the things that they admire about me it has always been those things it has always been my resourcefulness it's always been the way that i present myself it's always been how talented i am it's always been my personality it's always been all those things and so like y'all i know i'm rambling but i'm saying this to say please embrace who you are please embrace the gifts that god has given you everything that you pick yourself apart for start to embrace them and i promise you things will start to make sense to you because it's starting to make sense to me now why i had to go through the things that i went through and how those things have shaped me into the woman that i am today and there are so many things that i literally haven't sleeping on myself about because i'm just like it's not a big deal but it is a big deal because for your whole entire life you have been hearing the same thing and you literally keep putting it in the back of your mind put it in the back of your mind like oh it's not a big deal it is a big deal how many people can't do the things that you have been graced to do like wake up but like you literally walking around like you don't understand like who you are and what you have at like your fingertips like many people say that everything that you need you have to be who you who you've been called to be I literally have everything that I need in my mind 
in my hands. Like I literally have it all. All I have to do is start doing it. And once I start doing it, the opportunities will start to come. Once I start embracing the person who I, God has called me to be and I start walking into, into my authenticity, there's no way that God is not going to start opening doors because this is what I have been called to do. And people say that all the time and I feel like a lot of us are like, oh, okay, like whatever. But it's not until you sit with yourself and you start to work on yourself and you start to have these conversations with yourself and you start to question yourself that you get to a point that I literally am just getting to like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Literally, what is wrong with you? Like you have everything you need and here you are walking in fear like you don't know who you are, you know? Everything works to the benefit of those who love the Lord. That is not, I'm par paraphrasing it, but like when you really think of it, even the most mundane things that you have done in your life, even all the attacks of the enemy, he's going to work them to be beneficial towards the gift that God has given you. So even in the most negative, evil things that have happened to you, I promise you, there has always been something in it that God is going to work towards being for your benefit. For example, for me, I have been abandoned. But I can honestly say because of those things, I have learned to be resourceful. Because my parents were not there and I know that I can't depend on anyone, I have learned to be resourceful in a way that I have literally been able to create a life for myself. I really feel like that was necessary to say because I literally just had this conversation with myself because I have been acting and playing so small for a while now. But I feel like when I think about my life and where I have been and who I have been around, literally everyone sees it but me. Even the people who don't like me see it. Everyone sees it but you. So it's time for you to see it. Act like you know. Act like you have some sense. Goodbye. I am headed back to my room because my jaw is hurting me again. I don't know what that's about. So I'm going to have to travel with painkillers and then go get that checked out when I um, get back. Because I did not have this problem until <laughs> yesterday and it's really irritating me. But look how beautiful this is. Tell me that's not gorgeous. I'm living. Good morning! Good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley Morgan and today is my 30th birthday! <laughs> it's my birthday y'all. I am so happy. I am filled with so much joy and it's only the grace of God. Like God has just extended grace like in the crazy today because I am just filled with so much joy. I am filled with so much happiness and although I am here alone, I am not alone. I'm happy like this is probably the happiest I've been in a while not just because I'm on vacation but like I made a decision to do this alone this is my first solo trip and it has been nothing but a joy I have really enjoyed myself since I've been here by myself and it's just been amazing anyways I'm 30 today I am so happy and so excited to just be able to bring in another year I'm grateful for just like the grace that God has given me over my life because we know that a lot of people did not make it to 30 um, this year. It's just a blessing to just be able to be here another year. And so I'm grateful and thankful for that. This morning I am actually headed to the spa. I am going to, uh, actually I'm gonna go to breakfast first. Then I'm gonna go to the spa and I wanna, I want to go, my spa session is at 11 or 12, one of the two. But I want to go earlier because they have um, saunas and they have like whirlpools and I just want to check those out. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that this morning. And then later on tonight I have dinner reservations but midday I think I want to go to the beach and see what the beach is like. Because it's actually really beautiful out today like not sure if you can see but it's, it's nice and sunny. And so um, I'm happy about that because it was supposed to rain today and so like I said God's grace is just sufficient he's he's showing out today because it is it's forecasted to like rain and it's not and so I'm happy about that and so I'm just happy today like I am 30 I am just in good spirits and a good mood um it's just been a good time and I'm just really grateful so let's go get some breakfast um the food here is not that great but then again i am a chef so a lot of my the quality of the food that i like is just a little different not only that 
resorts let's just talk <laughs> um i understand that most of your client base is from the u.s but do we really have to have like i did not come to mexico to eat american food <laughs> i came here to eat mexican food where's the mexican food like i want mexican food nobody americans would be fine they they can they'll be okay like you don't have to cater to them just give us some mexican food we're good we want what you eat we want what you like that's how i want to eat i do not care for i don't care to come on vacation and eat food that i can eat at home and so that's like my only gripe with this place is that the food here is just very much I could literally make this in my kitchen. <laughs> I'm like, I really wish they had Mexican food here, but it is what it is. So I'm here at the spa, and I'm about to put my hair into ponytail. Yeah, my face is swollen. What's wrong with my tooth? I'm so irritated. I just have that for my vacation. I'm not irritated. That's that's a strong word. <laughs> I'm just like, what the heck? What the freak? knocked out the whole time but I was kind of knocked out and then I went in the sauna a little longer and relaxed a little bit hey y'all it's me <laughs> excuse my bed excuse the ironing board um, but I wanted to show you all my outfit I'm about to head out here pretty soon I am going to get dinner tonight I made a reservation for my birthday so I am going to a fondue restaurant which I am pretty excited about because I love cheese, okay? So I'm excited about that. And so this is my outfit. I have to put my shoes on, but you've seen this outfit before. It's just different color skirt. So I have on this white top I got from Shein. And then I have on this skirt that I also purchased from Shein. And then I'm going to have on these black strappy sandal situation that I have from Pretty Little Thing. Pretty Little Thing, nothing too major, something simple. That is my outfit. I am ready to eat. I'm so excited about just, today has been a good day. It's been a very peaceful day. It's been a very reassuring day. It's been very good and so, so I'm going to go ahead and um, head out and find this restaurant and um, just kind of go sit down and eat. So let's go guys. Actually, welcome, welcome to my channel. What is on my channel? I don't know. Anyways, I am. It's the day after my birthday, and I'm feeling really good. I'm about to go ahead to the front desk so I can go ahead and pay my tab, and then I'm going to go ahead and probably go get something to eat, and then go to the beach, um, and just relax for a few hours. And yeah, then tonight I have dinner, and then tomorrow I am Audi 5000. Um, this trip was really. It was a really good trip. I don't regret it um, and so I can't wait to get back home I'm excited to get back home because I really want to eat some good food the resort is okay like it's just okay like they have the the best thing I had so far or best experience I had so far was a spa everything else like for the price point I don't feel like it's worth it um, but that's just me uh, we could discuss this another time but I'm about to go pay my tab we'll get something to eat and then um, go to the beach so I will see you guys once we get to probably the beach I'm probably not gonna film anything else because I kind of really want to relax today so we're gonna see but see you in the field